Hi everyone, Scott Weaver with Designers Workroom. So quite a while ago I put out a video and I think it was entitled something like Making a Seat Cushion, Don't Forget to Dacron Wrap. But there's a lot of uh, misconceptions about doing it and there's some do's and don'ts when it comes to Dacron Wrapping. And so I thought I would settle this uh, kind of an argument uh, for once and for all for you guys. First of all, let me show you what this is. And most of the time you will find it like in a Joann's, and it's usually in the foam section. What we get, we buy it by the bulk, and it looks like this. It's, ours is 54 inches wide, but it can come 48 inches wide. But ours comes on a roll like this, and when we first get it, it is a huge roll. We use one inch, and it is called poly bonded Dacron. And this is what we, we put around every cushion that we make. The purpose of the Dacron is to give your cushion uh, the plushness and also softness to it. And it also kind of fills in all the gaps around it. And the foam measures three inches. And the biggest misconception is that when you add your Dacron, if you add a piece on the bottom, and then you, let's say, like this piece on, I'm saying on the bottom, and then on the top, and you measure it, now it's going to be four inches. So, and then, of course, then you wrap it around the sides. It comes out looking something like this one right here. And now you're measuring, and you're saying, wow, this is now four inches around here, and it is much wider. Do I cut my fabric any differently? And the answer is no. When you are cutting your fabric, you want to cut it to your foam size. So regardless, forget about the Dacron. When you make your cushion, if you've got a three inch border around here, you're going to make your border three inches. Whatever the size of your cushion is, that's what you want to make your your fabric so it fits then you add your Dacron to it so you're not you're not adding more because of the Dacron the purpose of the Dacron is to give your cushion the plushness and in a good cushion is overstuffed it's not under so that is why you want to add the Dacron to it um, give this softness and it fills in all the nooks and crannies so just remember when you're making it make it to the size of your cushion three inch border uh, make your three three inch border around this to match your three inch foam if this cushion is a 12 by 12 square or 16 by 16 square that is what you want your top and bottom layers to be and do not add anything else to it then by the time you're adding your Dacron onto it, then it's going to be a little harder to stuff in because now you're overstuffing it. But overstuffing is a good thing as long as you're not getting like a bow like this into it, which you shouldn't if you're just adding the Dacron. There's also a half inch Dacron. You can use that also. Uh, we just like the one inch. Now having said that, the other do that you want to do is to steam your cushion after you have made it so and the reason why after you have stuffed your your cushion in here because you put the Dacron a lot of times the Dacron is a little wavy um, it's definitely uneven around your sides so you always want to take like a piece of uh, cotton and put a piece over it take your iron and you want a lot of steam go over it with your iron with, with quite a bit of steam and then also do it around the sides here and you can see i don't know if you can see this but i haven't done this one yet and it's quite a bit of uh, wrinkles in here due to the uh the stuffing of it but if you look at this one you can tell that it's nice and taut and the top is nice and taut we just made these for a customer and that's why we've got them on the table and since I had them on the table, I just figured, hey, I'll, I'll give you the, uh, the heads up on it. So, that's about it. That's all I wanted to explain to you guys is that uh, whatever your foam is, 
That's what you're going to make it to. The Dacron is in addition to it. Don't add anything to your measurement for cutting. Other than that, you guys, good luck. Oh, and check out my other video because it does explain kind of how to put it on to apply it. Uh, I'll put a link either to the bottom or you'll see a little pop-up thing on the screen. And um, check that video out. Also. Now, for some reason, if you do not want to use the Dacron or maybe you can't afford to get the Dacron, um, whatever the case may be, you, don't, you can't find it and you just want to make a cushion, then what I recommend is to add an inch. If the cushion that you want to make is 16 inches, cut your foam 17 inches wide. If it's 18 inches long, cut your foam 19 inches long. So you want an inch wider and an inch longer if you're not adding Dacron. That is what I recommend. And if you want a 3 inch border, then get 4 inch foam. And what that will do is it will compress and it'll fill in all the nooks and crannies as I discussed earlier. That way you have a nice tight fit to your cushion. Uh, so an inch wider in width and length and in thickness if you're not adding any Dacron to it. Okay folks, thank you very much. Take care now.